still a lot of game left. Feeds to Johnson. The pass to Ilya Sova. Now here's Jennings. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Passes to Ilya Sova. The three-pointer no good. Johnson resigned in Toronto. He's been a big part of this team for years, and he talked about their great fan support in Toronto. Out of fans out for the morning. Chicago making some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Freak comes in for Mike Dunleavy. And it's Butler in for Tony Snell. Ilya Silva, he's checked in for the Pistons. Jennings comes in for Johnson. On the court for the Pistons, Jennings runs the point with Jackson flanking him. Marcus Morris is out there with Ilya Silva, and it's Leonard in at the center. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Lakers was just phenomenal. He finished with 39 points and not a surprise in how he scored. Drew contact and finished at the free throw line. If you talk to his teammates, they'll tell you they weren't surprised. They were just waiting for him to break out like this. They'd like to see it again, Kevin. All right, Doris, thanks so much for the report. You had to just marvel, guys, at what he was able to do that night, didn't you? You know what? It was the game of basketball being played at its highest level. No, no question who their MVP was in that win. No question whatsoever, Greg. I mean, that's a performance he and his fans will remember for a long, long time. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Rose passes to Rodriguez. And that is good. Rodriguez has got 15. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. Rose against Jennings. He feeds it to Jackson. Here's the screen. It's back to Jennings. They get it back. There's the dish to Jackson. The Pistons rebound and another shot. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Taj Gibson picks one up. And as usual, he's the one directing traffic out there, guys. And, and guys, he, he always has such a firm grasp of exactly what the game plan is. He's always talking, making sure that all five guys are on the same page. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Bulls. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Yeah, another thing they've done well, guys, a lot of steals in the first half, really getting after it defensively. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Miritich has checked in for Gasol. And it's Austin Rivers in for Rose. Now here's Jennings. Following the miss by Freak. Launches it. And that's good. Brandon Jennings for three. Jennings has got it all tied up now for the Pistons. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to get. Up top, Rodriguez. Defended by Ilya Sova. And here we go, the Pistons fast break, and they take the lead. Elias has got his first points of the night. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Jennings kicks to Morris. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Jennings with another miss. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Pass to Butler. Inside, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. For Chicago, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And the first one at the line is good. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Lee, left side. The 
shot's good. Jennings making the play. Assistant. Jennings has got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Rodriguez against Morris. Morris with the block. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. There's the pick. Here's Rodriguez. He hasn't been able to make as much of an impact here in the second. Good work defensively by Morris. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Outside Jennings, six to shoot. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And I'm looking for them to increase that lead if they can keep getting to the free throw line. And he can't get the first one. No good on the second free throw. Bulls trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Baseline J on the way. Rebounded by the Pistons. Pachulia's got five rebounds tonight. To the middle. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Jennings. Morris has got four points this quarter. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Deflects the pass, tries to keep it alive. And here we go. The Pistons' fast break. Leads running. Ilya Sova dishes to Morris. He kicks it to Jennings. Beyond the arc. And it's Freak with the rebound. Not sure why he keeps trying his love from deep here. It's just not his night. Rivers with it. And Jennings picks him up defensively. Gibson with a screen on Lee. Heritage has a wide open look. And the shot falls short this time. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. They double him with Butler. And Ilyasova kicks to Morris. Rivers against Jennings. Four on the clock. Ilyasova. Chicago grabs the miss. Gibson's got three rebounds now in this one. Lee gets the bucket. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. And stolen by Jennings. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Bulls trail by eight. Kicks it to Butler. To the inside. And it's Gibson finishing it off. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two hand. The shot and game clock separated by four. They set the pick. Ilyasova a screen on Rivers. Jennings passes to Pachulia. Good. Pachulia's got the lead up to eight now for Detroit. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. And that one's good. Freak. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. And so that brings the first half to a close. Pistons ahead as they end the second quarter with a huge surge, an 18-7 run. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, the offense has obviously been a struggle. What do you think you can do better to make up ground on them?
All right, guys. I want to go over some things before we get back out there. A nice chunk of our offense in the first half came from the low post. And one thing that should definitely do for us in the third quarter. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. They're making some changes. Mirotic has checked in for Noah. Freak comes in for Dunleavy. And Tony Snell subbed in for Butler. And a different look here for the Pistons. Pachulia, he's checked in for Myers Leonard. Ilyasova comes in for Amir Johnson. Johnson, he's checked in for Marcus Morris. And Lee's subbed in for Brandon Jennings. Rodriguez, he's in at three. Rose and Snell teaming up in the backcourt. Miritich is out there with Pau Gasol. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Shooting two, shooting two. He misses the free throw. Despite another miss there, you still have to like the way he's been working himself to the free throw line. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. Pistons trail by four. Lee outside. Outside Jackson. Johnson, a wide open look, and there's the call on Pachulia. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Chicago. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Gasol with the steal. Rose against Lee. Rodriguez goes in and stolen by Ilyasova. Ball's knocked loose. And here we go, the Bulls fast break. And even three on three break. To tie. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Eliasova's got it all tied up now for Detroit. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from beyond. Miracic dishes to Freak. Good looking screen by Gasol. Freak kicks to Rose. He got right to the cup using that screen. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. Rivers, he's checked in for the Bulls. Jackson with it. He has seven. Tipped away. Stolen by Rivers. Here's Rodriguez. Outside Rose, just five to shoot. From 13, poked away, Rodriguez. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. Boy, terrific play there. I thought even with all the contact, he still was going to get that shot to go down. And both free throws good from Freak. Pistons trail by five. And here's Jackson. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Here's Rodriguez. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. 22 points for Freak. Another